Sorry about that. My phone messed up on me. I moved the snail over some. Alright, now this is going to be 12 o'clock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now this should be the half hour, which it is. Now this should be one o'clock. Watch what happens. A while ago it counted two. That's what happens when you do stuff on video. Alright, that was half hour. This should be two o'clock. But it's not because it's catching the very end of the snail for the one o'clock position. So in other words, when you set up your snail for the 12 o'clock position, make sure it hits toward the uh, corner of the snail. Now that was two o'clock. This should be 2.30. And this should be 3 o'clock. But it's not. It's 2 o'clock. This should be 2.30. I mean 3.30. But it didn't go. This. It'll catch up with itself as the snail gets smaller. See, now it caught up with itself. Because it's no longer on this one. It's on... I'm sorry, my finger's in the way. It was no longer on this one. It was on this one. And I'll show it to you again. It's on this section here where it, it was on these sections. So let's count it. That's one, two, three, four, five. Now this would be 5.30. If I can get the hand to stay on. And this would be 6 o'clock. Now, nah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, I hope this helps. Like I said, when you set up your snail... Make sure for the 12 o'clock position, it's in the corner area. That way, as the snail rotates, it'll get up here for the half hour. Then it'll be striking for the 1, the one thirty, And then this next area, it'll be 2 o'clock. Because this is the 1 o'clock position, the 2 o'clock position, the 3 o'clock position, and so forth. 